tonight a great success. Um, and on behalf of the South Korean Labour Party, uh, I would like to welcome you to our, one, of, one of our first events in the House of Commons um, to get all our members uh, meet each other, uh, community leaders from Enfield Southgate and Enfield North and Edmonton to get together. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, a big turnout. We have great uh, names amongst us as speakers. Uh, I would invite uh, one by one uh, to start with John McCartney, our London uh, Assembly member for Enfield and Harringate. She will say a few words, then we'll carry on. Bravo. I'm delighted to be here this evening to see so many friends here in this wonderful building. Um, I'm particularly delighted that we have Stephen Twig, National Education, a good friend with us this evening. Can I just start by thanking a few people? Can I thank um, Anna Sawa for um, hosting us tonight? Thank you very much, it is very much appreciated. And those that have arranged this event and the catering tonight. So, can we put our hands together for yeah, yeah, But as I said, it's great to be here amongst friends. Some friends I haven't seen for a while, so it's great that you're back with us here. Yeah, and I think all too often in political parties, we don't do that outreach and our social events where we actually connect with people on a, a different level and we actually engage and we bring people into our labour fold. So, we have a very broad church in there the Labour Party, um, and we welcome opinion and we welcome debate amongst ourselves. So it's, it's, it's very pleasing that we have so many people here and so many people from our local community in Enfield. Um, I just want to say a personal thank you um, to those people that assisted in the elections in May. Um, we returned myself, Labour member, to Enfield and Harry Thank you very much. And in fact, a, a whole swathe of London turned from blue to red in this last election. So I think, you know, going forward to our future elections, um, we need to make sure that that maintains. And we can only do that if we engage with our local communities, if we engage with the people to hear from our um, churches and temples, um, from our schools, and from our community organisations. Because one thing we do know about Enfield is that we are a very vibrant and diverse community. And it's that vibrancy and diversity that actually makes us an extremely strong community. So can I just thank you all again for coming here this evening. And, and I'm not sure who I'm going to pass on to oh, now. Oh, there you go, thank you. Thank you so much. Our host, now will say a few words to us. Anna Sarwar, thank you for Glasgow. I think we should all first of all start by giving a huge cheer round of applause to everybody for putting this event together. I might have put the room, but he did all the hard work. And also a special uh, mention for my two parliamentary colleagues, Chris uh, Williamson and also uh, Stephen Twig. A huge cheer for Stephen Twig, actually. Uh, uh, <laughs> Age uh, by yeah. saying when, when Stephen was elected in 1997 uh, and I was 13 and a half at the time, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was certainly one of the most memorable political moments of my life. So, so it's, it's great to see Stephen coming in as a new intake member Thank of Parliament as in 2010. Stephen uh, was 17. You thought he was great there, rather at the time. <laughs> but the important point about Stephen in Parliament, and this is the important point about what this constituency has to achieve in the next election, is Stephen Twig doesn't belong to the opposition benches. We want him to be, yes, a fantastic Shadow Secretary of State, uh, sorry, Shadow Secretary of State for Education, but actually where he belongs, and where the Labour Party belongs, is back in government, trying to make a change for the people that we see serve every single day. That's the challenge that every single person in this room has got to take away from this meeting today. Yes, it's fantastic that we come and socialise with each other. Yes, it's fantastic that we come and celebrate our history and our values. But our values and our history is only important and only relevant if we actually are putting them into action in government and actually changing the United Kingdom. 
And I've just got one message for every single one of you. You'll notice that my accent that I'm not from these parts. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still part of the United Kingdom, thankfully. <laughs> for now. But I've got a more point about what Ed Miliband was trying to say in his speech about One Nation Labour, about what the Labour Party is trying to achieve. And that is that we genuinely are better off together, working together, standing taller together, shouting louder together, and having more of a voice together. Yes, in the UK, but right around the world, because of the great partnership that we have and the values that we share about quality, fairness, uh, and justice. And my fight for uh, against poverty and opportunity in Glasgow is the same fight that Stephen does in this constituency that Chris does in his, and what the Labour Party fights for right across the country. But what makes us different from the Conservative Party, what makes us different from other parties and the Nationalists in particular, is that we just don't want opportunity here in the United Kingdom. We want to spread opportunity right around the world. That's Labour Party values, that's internationalist values, and that's values that together, in the 2016 election, we will bring back the government and return Ed Miliband as the Prime Minister. Yeah. We've got a, a great sport from across the country. Chris is